So this next video is going to show you how to add lights and artwork. Artwork is very similar to adding a window. There's only one extra little step you have to take. So let's just say that I'm going in, I'm deciding that um, like you would a window, you're going to decide how big your window is going to be. Um, but right now, before you go back to the vanishing point like you would a window, you are going to create a, a little rectangle. And the reason you're going to create this little rectangle is that this is the side of the frame so that it looks like it's popping off the wall because your frame sits on the wall. It's not part of the wall. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to go back just like I would with a window. That guideline going back. And then I'm going to decide where my artwork is going to end, making sure I'm using parallel lines. And then I'm just going to connect my guidelines together and erase the ones I no longer need. Then you can go in and you could um, create a, I should be using my ruler. Okay, you can create a, um, a scene or a picture, painting, whatever you want on that. That could even be a TV. It could be uh, a flat screen TV hanging on your wall. So um, you decide. So um, that's how you do the artwork. As far as the lights, I'm combining these two together because they're both pretty simple. Um, if I wanted to do a light over here, I'd have to decide, uh, is my light hanging from an oval um, or a circular piece? And does, is my light kind of coming out and then turning and coming up? And then does it have like a little shade on it like that? Um, if I want my plate to be square, then you have to go and you have to use your perspective so that your plate is going to go back to the vanishing point. And then again, um, if you want to have, maybe there's this, I don't know, maybe this is some type of, um, oh, let's see, I'm trying to think on the fly. Maybe this comes out and maybe this one comes down. So maybe this, this lamp comes out and comes down, racing inside. This is not the best lamp I've ever drawn, but you get the basic idea, okay? Um, so you, you have some different ways. If you're doing a circle, do this. If you're doing the, the, the brick one or the block one, you have to use your perspective. Uh, if you're doing um, uh, fluorescent lamps, up on top, fluorescent lights, same thing. You would start at the top. I'm just going to go ahead and put in a fluorescent light here, start at the top. Again, I would need to show the thickness of the fluorescent lamp or the fluorescent light. Here, I would bring this back, however long you want that fluorescent light to go. Now, depending on where you put this, you're going to see, notice that there's a side to this fluorescent light because I put it to the left of the vanishing point. So now I need to, so I now have like a 3D light. Um, if you want something that looks like it's hanging down, uh, again, little oval, you could have something that comes down and hangs down. You know, it could be a chandelier, um, again, some other type of light that's going to come down and go across. If you want one of those lights where it kind of looks like a, um, I'm probably going to do something, let's see if I do something here. I've got those lights that kind of look kind of like this, that hang. In fact, I don't think I would do that. It's and I would be seeing the bottom, I think. See the, so see the bottom of the lamp? Because it's up above the vanishing point, not the bottom. And then I would put where, the, where it's connecting, and then I've got my two or three different things that are going to come down. Whoops. Again, I should be using my ruler. This tells you that I'm tired. I've been making too many videos lately, and I'm getting tired. So this would be one of those um, lamps that is kind of hanging by the 
the little wires. So, um, so that's lamps and how to do a flat screen TV or if I turn it, it could be a, um, a light. So either way, okay? Um, hope that works for you. Have fun.